Thank you so much for being here. Um, I we are <laughs> never a dull moment, uh, and we just wanted to start actually with a uh, notification that currently the statewide 911 system is down. Uh, and calls are not going through. We've been in touch with the state and with all the relevant officials to work on getting this resolved. But in the meantime, obviously, there are uh, a number of pro um, bits of information that we want to make sure the public has. And so while we have everyone here, uh, we did want to just pass it on to our first responders in each of the agencies to share what our residents should do uh, in the meantime. There's lots of information out there, but uh, we, will, we need to be covering this outage in the 911 system first. So, uh, Commissioner Cox? Thank you. As the mayor just briefly said, you know, currently we're having some temporary issues with the with the 911 system, but we want to just provide uh, the public some some um, information in regards to how to contact us if they need to. Uh, currently, if you go to our bpd.news uh, site, uh, there's a list of all our district stations. They're on there. The public in the local uh, district station where they live can call those numbers and actually uh, call the local police department if you need police services. Uh, in addition, if you're having any issues, um, you know, medical related or EMS or fire related, you can go and pull your local uh, call box. That, that, that's the red light boxes of, for, that the fire department has in local streets and corners uh, to also get medical attention uh, that way. Um, this is, uh, could be very temporary, and uh, we're waiting to hear a little later about how long it would last, but we thought it was important, particularly with the heat uh, that we're about to experience, to make sure that we give people the opportunity to uh, know what's going on in regards to the 911 system. So uh, I'm going to have EMS and fire just uh, reiterate uh, ways that you can contact them directly. Good afternoon. Thank you. In order to get the Boston Fire Department today, I would start by calling the number 617 343-2880. Your second choice would be to pull a firebox on any street corner with the red light, as the commissioner said. And then your third option would be go into a firehouse. Those three options will work today. That number works. I just tried it. So that would be your emergency contact for today to get the fire department. If the issue is medical or fire, we will respond. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, uh, similarly for, uh, for Boston, uh, we're co-located in the 911 center along with uh, Boston, we're linked to Boston Fire. Uh, we have a couple of administrative lines, 617-343-1400. Uh, uh, normally, again, we use that for administrative purposes. However, uh, that'll hunt over to a couple of available operators. We're all located in the same thing. So we can, uh, we have the uh, possibility of entering a call there for as well. Uh, so 617-343-1400. And, uh, the beauty of the system in Boston is police, fire, EMS, we share the same CAD system. That's working fine. So any information that gets entered by any of the agencies or somebody contacts fire, police, or EMS, and we need the services of the other agency, we send each other a message, we talk on radios, and we bail each other out. So as long as it gets in the system, well, we'll be able to connect to the right service. Thank you. Thank you all. So uh, again, just to reiterate, for our residents, if you are experiencing an emergency, if you find your way to police, fire, or EMS, we will make sure that you get to the right place. So don't worry about needing to have the exact right number or anything as this is getting resolved, hopefully very quickly. Um, there are multiple places on the police website. You can find the phone numbers for all of the district stations, and uh, the, those will be available also on social media. So uh, please, please, um, help spread the word in, in this momentary period.